We are working on a mechanical leech device to replace the use of live leeches in reconstructive and reattachment surgeries. Oftentimes when tissue grafts are used, the tissue grafts fail due to uh, venous congestion and um, like the lack of venous outflow when the tissue grafts are reattached. And so um, the use of live leeches actually promotes the relief of that congestion of blood but also promotes the growth of new veins. One of the drawbacks to these live leeches is uh, they also introduce a pretty high risk of infection as well as just that negative psychological aspect of having a leech on your body. And so what we have done this past year is design a mechanical leech to replace the use, the use of live leeches. Our sponsors have been amazing. We worked with Texas Children's Hospital and Baylor College of Medicine and as like a pre-med biomedical engineer like their careers is exactly what I want to be doing. We were able to partner the student engineering teams with our surgeons to come up with novel solutions for pediatric device unmet needs. And so we started last year to identify these unmet needs. The surgeons were able to put down the needs on a piece of paper, really identify it on a one-page sheet. We took those uh, so, uh, unmet needs and problems and really matched me them with student teams and were able to work throughout the year to come up with uh, uh, potential solutions as well as build those prototypes. And here we are today to showcase and really highlight their hard work. We developed a heat sink out of aluminum, um, multiple different prototypes with different geometries to um, uh, expel the air from the processor. And then we um, paired it with a microjet that disperses the air evenly over all surface areas of that uh, heat sink. Well, this is a great place for us to see other students and what they've done, and it just shows the magnitude of uh, what the effectiveness and the diversity of the engineering department here at a and And so our project is one small case of apl applying mechanical engineering and thermodynamics and fluid mechanics and affect the electronics department, whereas a team right next door to us might be the ele electrical engineers developing the processor that our product might ultimately cool. So it shows us the interconnectivity of all the different majors and how it all works together. Well, hopefully we can find some great students to hire to come work with us. Um, and it's probably just amazing to see what the students are doing. So this will help them in the interviews, when they're looking for a job, and, and out in the real world on their other projects.